We are adding 10.5 grams of potassium bromide to 125 grams of water. So what's our total mass there? We have to add those two numbers together. And what do we get? We get 135.5 grams. So that's our total mass. Make sure you add both reactants. The initial temperature of the water was 24.2. The final was 21.1. So what is our delta T there? It's always final minus initial. So what are we going to have? It's going to be a negative number, a negative 3.1 degrees Celsius. So you're doing the givens here first. We have C, right? That's right there. Now we want to find the enthalpy change for the system in joules per gram. So what that's going to be, delta H for the system is negative the enthalpy change for the surroundings so we're just going to go ahead and put that negative in there now we want it per gram so what we're going to do here is divide by how many grams of potassium bromide we have and I put BR in there should be a K there for potassium so that will be divide by 10.5 grams make sure you do that because then that'll give us joules per gram. We put the numbers in, and our mass was 135.5 grams. I'm going to leave the units out here just to save a little time. 4.184 for the specific heat capacity, and our delta T is minus 3.1. We divide, and there's a negative here in front. Kept keep forgetting that guy, negative right there. And divide that by 10.5. The negatives are going to cancel, and we're going to wind up with 167 joules per gram. See the negative there, and the negative in the delta T. So the answer is D.